That'd be sweet. Okay, as as we're closing up shop here, predictions for episode one. For sure, we are going to get a council, great council. a, a great, great council, great council. And I think there might even be like you could launch right into it. I have no idea, but you could launch right into it and possibly have a lot of energy from different factions moving forward. A lot of real, real energy and establish a high king who is an, an old king and who's a, who's a Targaryen here to hear this council and people making their cases. That's a lot of buzz. That's a lot of energy. And the fact that they showed us uh, old King Jaehaerys, I feel like you might open with that. That's the whole, everything right. moving forward is centered upon the series was chosen over Rainey's. Um, and then even when they put like Lanor forward and stuff like that, he's chosen over them. And it was because he was a male flat out. Um, I mean, actually the old King's wife leaves him for that. I mean, for a while they separate. So that is everything moving forward with the, with the, with the blacks and the greens, hundred percent, you know, Allison says, no, I have a son and Viserys' son should fit the front. If we're getting old King Jaehaerys, do you think we get old King Jaehaerys' death and possibly an involvement from House Hightower? Oh boy. Because I, I feel like I feel like you could really set up the idea because we know there's a lot of images of young Rhaenyra and young Alice and his friends. Mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. maybe if you have something where Viserys is telling Rhaenyra, like, hey, I'm gonna change it because I want you to be I want you to be my my heir. Because so I think it's uh -huh. gonna it's gonna be him if this is like sort of his, gonna be his coronation. Yeah. But then you could really end that thing where it's like here you have Alice and like maybe that we see them as friends. And then it's going to be something where it's like, oh, she's got her own. She's going to forge her own path. Whereas Rhaenyra feels like she's like, at least in this just episode one, like I'm going to get like what's what's mine. But Allison's like, well, I'm just going to have to go about it my own way. Yeah. 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 I, I really do like that. I like the idea, too, that you're going to have um, the, the high towers. However, they execute this, the high towers involvement, we're going to be we're going to be privy to some sort of thing that they do that is devious, whether that's with the old king. Uh, and I think we'll see that. I think we'll see something that hints at it or we're directly going to see a poison, something. The old king is gone. And then Otto Hightower is also in there doing, and I'm going to give credit to Aiden because I, I would think I was thinking the same thing here, that we're going to really enjoy Viserys' first wife or that we're going to like her in some way and we're going to see a plot to remove her as well. And, so that, you know, during childbirth or something. And that opens the door for the high towers. I just feel yeah. like, because I've been reading too, that we're going to see early on a more clear, good guy, bad guy, the Lannister season one, bad guys, right? Bad. We don't like that. that they're well, bad. Then, but then, you the, kind, but then, you, then you kind of throughout season one, kind of see well, Tyrion might be okay. Right. Exactly. So I feel like they're going to establish the high towers as bad right out the gate. And then, there, where well, that's going to shift. That's going to shift over the series, and ironically, we might be because I think even reading Fire and Blood, we're like, oh no, we're Targaryen. Uh, something is going to happen along the way that's going to make us go like, okay, like the High Towers right. did some bad stuff in the beginning, but they're redeeming themselves or like later on. I don't know. That's could be. I I would be good. I, I that to me is what this show really should do is they should because technically, I mean, yeah, Alice and High Tower like we view as sort of bad or whatever. But even though, because she's not a Targaryen, well, Catelyn Tully isn't a Stark. You know right. I mean? Yeah, like, exactly. Right, you wanna, but yeah, if you want to go down that route, but she does have a child that is a Targaryen child. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. You know, well, I mean, the, the other thing here is the consequences for the High Towers could be long. Like this could be a long lasting issue where they go back to the High Tower. And we right. think in the Song of Ice and Fire, they're going to be a big player. Something big is, is coming right. down the line. So. And what's to say, what's to say, actually, that, you know, we sort of view them as bad just because we think, yeah, we, we were with the blacks or whatever. Right. But, um, I mean, what's to say that Rhaenyra and Damon aren't the crazy ones? Oh, it's I the know. Way, because the story we've been given is told to us from a certain point of view. Yeah. Yep. And what's to, and so I, I really hope that the show does really make everyone pick us because that was like the best part of game of thrones oh yeah was everyone was everyone picked everyone picked like a team yeah and if yeah. you really like even like you know other other shows that have done that i mean like, i'll use an example like twilight remember everyone's like i'm team Man, oh or, yeah you know whatever oh, yeah. but it was like Got a thing and everyone's into it but i mean you can really pick like um you know if you really like design and make it like that way well for, for, for just 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 to kind of highlight that point so when the when Aegon right when when you have the Targaryens legitimate Targaryens born by Alicent who yeah, have a claim 
they're legit. They're, like, they are legit. And then you have Rhaenyra over here doing some stuff with, like, I mean, actually almost betraying, like, House Valerion in terms of who she's sleeping with and who the children that she's having and stuff like that. You could get some crazy power-hungry Targaryens and have these more kind of like Hightower just wants, wants a seat at the table. They just want to be involved, you know, right. uh, grandfather to sort of the king or whatever, mother to the king. Uh, and it just, and again, you're trying to follow what was the precedent that set in 101. They seem just by law that see, it sort of seems like that's, you know, they're, they're kind of in the right a little bit. So I, I really think there's a lot of room to, as Matt said, pick a team, pick your side, root for them. And as you know, people will not have read a lot of this and that will be all over the internet picking sort of their sides, uh, you know, whether you're a green or a black, et cetera. So I, I am actually ready to be swayed one way or the other and haven't decided yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm with, uh, yeah, I'm with, I'm with you. I, I again, predictions. Um, yeah, I think, I think we're going to, it's th see this episode should end with Jaharis getting crowned King or not Jaharis, um, Lucerius, Lucerius, yeah. and Jaharis, Old King Council. Hopefully, we get to see his death. Hopefully, we get to see yeah, and an, a slight involvement from I would love uh, it out from 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 Allison. Because remember, it's going to be a long way. I think before we get to Allison marrying. I think we won't even see Allison marry Viserys until like episode four because we still have Emma Aaron and we know they have a funeral. So that's maybe episode two or three. Right. So what do you think? I mean, you know, yeah. What do you think? I mean, it could be. It could very well could be I that. Uh, How'd she kill him? Did she smoke? Did she poison? Did, you know, I mean, we just know she was in there reading with him. That's all we know, right? When we know and that then uh, Jaharis dies of similar circumstances as well. Yeah. In which she's like, she's right there. Him, she's right next to him when he dies. Yeah. And they say, they say, and get right, like uh, poison is a, is, a, is a woman's weapon, sort of something that George right. is in the series or whatever. So, you know, who knows? We could, we could definitely. Um, I really hope they, they make Otto Hightower seem like an absolute like jerk. Yeah, like actually, evil like an evil because it's like, it's like why is your why is your young daughter, you know, right, right. This, it's almost it's almost like she's getting pulled in, you know, family ties and stuff like that. Like she's getting made to do things that maybe she doesn't want to do, and we start to feel kind of you know some sympathy for her, etc. Uh, you know what I mean? Like like oh she did yeah. that, but still we need to see her. To we it. need to, we, yeah we need yeah that or like we need to see a real reason for her to become because in theory she should almost not have any path to the throne. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so they, they're they're totally plotting to, to get in, you know, thick as thieves here. He's wanting his daughter to be flaunted in front of King Vis I mean, flat out, they're, they get married. Yeah. Like, you know, that happened. Like, Emma Aaron is, I, I don't know if she's, she, she dies, but like, it's like Aiden said in the, in the chat, we will see what happens. Not what people told us, you know, happened, which is going to be the interesting element. Like, we think we know some of these things, but they're going to show us. We, the audience, are going to get to see it. And it's going to be great. It's going to be really cool to see those moments with Allison Hightower and, and, and Otto Hightower plotting, plotting to get their, you know, kind of um, to get their seat at the table, to get royal, you know, connections. So, yeah.